Flanked by police, one of Vietnam's richest women hears her fate. 67-year-old Trong Mi Lan was handed the ultimate punishment, death, over one of the greatest bank frauds the world has ever seen. What it shows is that Vietnam, uh, unfortunately, applies this ultimate sanction not just for violent crimes, but for crimes across the board. The billionaire was found guilty of using the Saigon Commercial Bank as her cash cow, illegally controlling it for a decade to give loans to herself and her cronies, resulting in losses of more than 41 billion Australian dollars. She was also accused of paying hefty bribes to avoid scrutiny, including $8 million to the bank's former chief inspector, who's been sentenced to life. It marks a significant turn in Vietnam's uh, decade-long anti-corruption campaign. She was tried along with 85 accomplices here in blue. All were found guilty, with prison terms ranging from nine years to life. But the harshest penalty went to the woman at the top. Vietnam is famously secretive about its use of capital punishment, but rights groups believe it to be one of the biggest executioners in the world. But while death sentences are not uncommon, they're rare in financial cases, or for someone this well known. So the government clearly had an interest in making this a show trial. 30,000 people who got their money stolen from the bank. So this is really a big deal. Uh, I think the majority of the public feel are satisfied with the sentences. Lan's arrest was part of an ongoing anti-corruption campaign known as Blazing Furnace, which has ramped up since 2022 and even brought down a former president. Trong Milan has vowed to appeal against the sentence. Lauren Day, ABC News.